So we're going to go ahead and pop the old Suntour brakes off of this frame. And they are the recess nut style, which um, we haven't really dealt with much. The Univega had a recessed front and a not recessed rear, which is very interesting. So this style of brake actually has the, the bike, the frame and fork machined in with the machined in lip for a recessed style nut instead of having the bolt come all the way through with a bunch of threads and running a regular nut on it. Pretty not super fancy, but they're a huge problem in their own right. Especially when you want to add fenders. You can see this one has a weird fender mount. There were some tight weird fenders that had to clip in between the frame and the brake. Um, on the nutted ones, you can clip that on the front, you can clip it on the back, you can add it onto the back of the brake and add another nut. So you don't have to mess with the brake adjustment while you're trying to tighten your fenders down, get your brakes all crooked and fight it, trying to have your brakes even on the rim and have your fender even around your tire and not rubbing on one side. It's always a challenge. The recess nuts, there's a mediocre product called a problem solver that replaces this recessed nut and then allows you, it's threaded on the, again, on the outside where the Allen wrench goes. So you can add, um, so you can add a fender to the outside, but it still has the same problem. It slips and turns. See how I just lost that hardware? So easy to do. Barrel adjuster fell right out. If I don't find that right now, I never will. Yeah, just a weird fender bracket. Get rid of it. Weird little nerd washer. Get it kind of close up. This is to, so it digs in, bites the frame, so when, when you're trying to tighten it down, it doesn't just turn and make your brake adjustment terrible. Here's that barrel adjuster. One trick to not losing barrel adjusters is to unthread them. It's also good to make sure this thing actually works. And it doesn't. It needs to be cleaned. Oh, maybe there's a little damage. Again, there's a little file. Clean those threads. Shoot, the recess nut is stuck in the frame. One trick to getting those out is sometimes take a small Allen wrench and pop it through from the front. And then you can drive the nut out. Sometimes, there we go. As you can see, it's super short little threads because this guy recesses in and just has to fit inside that bridge. There are some tricks you can do like we did on the um, Univeg and some other bikes where you can mismatch brakes. Like say I really want to run these vintage sprint brakes. I can only find two fronts. I can run a front on the rear and just use a regular nut on it, get rid of this recess nuts, put a regular nut on, and use a front on the front. You can also get these little recess nuts in a bunch of different lengths. So I can use this rear on the front with a great big old long nut. And I can use the front on the rear because it's much longer. The threads will poke all the way through and I can use a regular nut on it. So there are tricks. Oh, I was talking about um, the other the other trick for mounting fenders with these is a Giles Bertho nut. They're amazing. They're not very common in America for I don't know what reason. They make them in a whole bunch of different lengths as well. They have wrench flats on the outside and a threaded area on the back. So you can use the tool to tighten them down and then add another bolt in, which is very, very cool. So you can get them on, get them tightened down and adjusted the wrench flats to hold your brake adjustment, then put your fender up here and then tighten that in so it doesn't mess with your brake adjustment. The Galsberg throw nuts are amazing. A million times better than problem solvers. Try and find them. I used to import them when I had Norther and hang them on the wall. I don't know if anyone else does. I feel like I never see them on eBay or anywhere. Um, I feel like I probably have some sitting around somewhere. And I lost the barrel adjuster again. Don't lose parts. Now here's the front brake. See it all breaky and normal. See it's got a nut on the front too. And all this does is pull these arms apart. So these arms are attached on this bolt. This nut right here is like a, sort of like a cone or an adjustment nut. You get the adjustment in and then you lock the outer nut to it. Like a lock nut over a cone on a bottom bracket or a hub. And that's just putting all these bushings and bearings and spring tension together and holding the brake arms together. You get this too tight, the brake arms won't move. You get it too loose, they flop all over. It makes the brake squeal and feel all shaky. So you don't start messing with any of this stuff. This is only when you overhaul the brake or pull the brake apart. It's just the nut in the back. So good at this. The same thing. This one's a little bit longer than the rear. Because that's to go through the fork crown, which is a little thicker than that rear bridge. You can see the front's got a concave spacer. So it's like half round spacer because the fork has a, is a round tube. 
So it needs that. Don't lose it. It'll always be shaky and weird, never even without it. Putting this back on. You can see the back side of the fork is recessed. So it means it's got a little lip and a little shelf in there so this nut can sit in there and sit flush. So it doesn't stick out. Pretty cool. Pretty slick. Hard to do fenders, but this bike was not made for fenders. There's no eyelets on it. Had some clamp on fenders with hose clamps. Very terrible because it's a race bike. Okay. So as we just noticed, I have a little problem with this barrel adjuster, which is that it won't really thread down because there's some mushed threads right here. So this is just a needle file set. You can get them for like 10 bucks at Harbor Freight, just about anywhere. And they're just little teeny tiny files. Possibly this little triangle file, because it comes to a point on two sides, so it's very sharp. We just want to get in there and just clean up next to that mashed tooth. And usually just a few strokes of a rifler's file or any file will get the mashed threads. And we can... Oh, no, still not doing it. Just too much of the threads smashed down into its little recess. And that's enough. It's a little stiff, but it'll sort of clean itself up by, by rolling this back and forth a few times. It's kind of the way a, a die works on a tap and die. It just comes through and retraces the threads with little cutting tools so it'll get rid of any burrs or nicks and clean out any junk in the in the little hollow spots. And now it works great. So now we've saved this barrel adjuster and it now works like normal. And I can show you the trick for not losing this style barrel adjuster. So this style barrel adjuster isn't threaded in the brake itself. It's a D style. You can see this is a D. So it just slides up and down. And the only way it adjusts is by turning this little knob, a little barrel adjuster nut. And that pulls it up and down. So what we can do, take it off, put it on the bottom, thread it on with just a few threads. And look at that. Now it can kick around in your drawer. Make sure this guy's not too loose. Don't want to lose that. Make sure this guy's not too loose. Don't want to lose that. This can kick around your drawer, get cleaned. If you feel like it, pull it out and go put it on a bike and you won't have lost any of your parts. And that is basically it for recessed nut brakes. Real simple unless you're trying to install fenders. Much more racy and aero and cool. Thanks for watching.